Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ndefon Tui. On this channel, I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and on Saturdays. Um, for those of you that are wondering and that have been asking me, yes, I still offer sewing uh, tutorials. So if you are a beginner, I offer online courses. I'll be showing a demo on how to make a jumpsuit so that you can watch and get a feel for um, how things would go and if it's something you'll be interested in send a message to um, telegram to the number that you can see on the screen right now thank you so much so back to the video this video i had made this video earlier on this year for a friend recently somebody sent me a message with the same picture asking for help to make it and i remember i had the video though i had not posted it to uh, my youtube um, so yeah this is the video on how to make the civil this civil wedding dress um, uh, once again thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting the channel um, do have a lovely day enjoy the video i'll see you um, later bye bye all right you're welcome to this video uh, so to begin well this dress right is basically just a corset dress that has um, a jacket attached to it so the first part is basically just a corset all right that's what you can see over here so you need to know how to draft a corset or how to make a corset dress to be able to sew all of this i'm not going to sew i'm not going to go through the whole corset parts i'm going to drop a link in the description and in the cards you should be seeing it right now if you don't know how to make a corset those videos will guide you but um, the video, this dress is quite complex, um, so if you know how to make the um, corset dress, it really, 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 really helps us out. So if you don't know how to, to make it, see that video first, and then come back to this video. Now, to the parts that would make most of you to ask for, that would make most of you need assistance is the jacket parts. Um, so to get to the jacket parts, the jacket parts, is a regular you know cape that's basically joined to the joint to the corset all right so you're going to need to make that small jacket and it will be stitched on to the bust all right so you will need to sew the front so you see the front i'm going to draw out a little corset here to help explain what i'm about to do so we're going to have the front of a corset you're going to cut it like this so this is like the front of a corset before you attach the cups these are the half inch allow uh, one and a half inch allowance you will keep on the side this is the joining in the center this is the back the back will not have a shoulder because it's a tube corset um you're not going to join the back to the front first after you have um built the front and the back you would now need to this is the boss you go ahead to attach the boss before you attach the jacket part the jacket part is going to be attached on top like so you see what i'm doing here the jacket is going to sit across here like this so the only parts that um the only parts where the jacket would meet the corset is in the front all right at the armhole all right so you see the dress here what you can see here that is this point i'm tapping is the only points where you can see the where, where the front and the back where the the jacket and the corset meet all right you see this part here i'm tapping that is um, a top stitch all right so i'm going to show you how to cut and build the uh, jacket and then i'll also build the corset to show you how to uh, plant it into the corset all right so if i come here you can see also clearly you can see where there's a top stitch joining the corset to uh, the cape that's the jacket part of the cape all right if you look around the neck here you will see that there's a joining joining the front of the cape to the back of the cape so that means the cape you will need to cut would have a front and a back all right i'm going to show you how to make all of that the back of the cape is going to have a zipper at the back of a cape a short zipper you know, roughly seven eight inches long no you need that zipper to allow your hair to pass into the cape parts so the back of your corset dress right of the dress itself would have its own zipper you see that this is like the regular zipper like at the back of your corset the cape all right that's the cape this is the cape i'm um drawing now <laughs> all right the cape is going to have its own separate zipper all right 
you see this this is the cape here there's going to be a zipper here you know running down the back you see this it's going to be a half zipper like a seven inch long zipper that's going to allow you to put your parcel head through the cape so you end up with two zippers the zipper that will be stitched on the cape the zipper that will be stitched on the dress itself all right so for the cape you're going to you don't need a lot for the measurements it's just the dress length um for most ladies this would be 62 63 that's if you wanted to flow on the floor um uh yep 62 63 is good um next thing we are going to need is your shoulder measurements uh it's around 14 that the measurement i'm working with is around 14 uh just for drafting sake we are going to need your bust measurements i'm going to use 32 right all right so now time for drafting let's break down the the jacket uh, break down the whole dress a bit you can see the way the collar is climbing up the neck all right you can see the jacket has a cape at the back and a sleeve in front so the jacket made up of three pieces the part that has that neck the back and there's a small sleeve in front you can see that joining that we have there that's joining it's not um, the middle of the sleeve this is where a front small sleeve that we will cut will be joined to a back cape this is going to take a lot so you're going to need to pay a lot of um, attention so so you see this here only the front part of the body would have a sleeve attached the back is going to have a sleeve but the sleeve will be cut as one with the cape i know that i'm saying a lot but by the time we get down to drafting we are going to break all of this all of this down all right so you can see where i'm tapping that's the joining where the front is joined to the boss part of the corset all right so yeah let's get to cutting To get started, the first thing you are going to do is, because of the neck that's going to climb up, I'm going to be safe. I'm going to keep a space of uh, 4 inches away from the top. Alright, we don't need that much, but just keep 4 inches at uh, the top. Alright. 4 inches will be more than, no, 2 inches is what we're going to use for the lift. But I'm just keeping 4 inches just to be safe. From that line, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be drafting the regular bodies. I'm placing the underboss length and I've placed the boss. Underboss length as 14, place my bust at 10 inches. Most of this is uh, elementary, but this is going to act as a guide to guide us on how to cut out that jacket part of the cape. Alright, so... I'm going to really line across these points all right so now that you've drawn that next i'm going to do i'm going to place the bust where i'm supposed to place the bust uh divide your bust measurements by four and place it down here so i'm working with 32 32 divided by four is eight inches so i've placed eight inches here next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place the under bust round I'm uh, working with 28 inches, 28 divided by 4 is 7. So you place your underboss uh, length round on your underboss length, sorry. And then simply just rule a line connecting both of them together. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our armhole. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to place your shoulder measurement on that line, the line that we came down for inches before we ruled. Alright, so the shoulder measurement in this case is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. I've marked 7. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slope the shoulder by 1 inch like we usually do. And then I'm going to place the armhole. So I'm placing, I'm working with an armhole of 32. 32 divided by 6 plus 1.5 is equal to 6.8. 6.8, I'm going to approximate that to the nearest whole number, which is 7 inches. So place whatever your armhole is there we are going to need this armhole because uh, the front part of the cape has a, a sleeve attached to it so this armhole is going to hold that small sleeve all right and also so i'm just rolling my armhole 
the next thing we're going to do is let's create the neckline width and neckline depth and then create the that uh, color that you can see climbing up the neck so for most ladies only if you have a shoulder of i would say around 18 inches but if you have a regular you know between 14 and 16 place 2.5 like i have placed and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place the heights of the collar. So here, two inches, you're going to place two inches like I'm doing now. And then I'm going to simply roll a straight line. And then I'm going to subtly, you know, slope this down and connect to the rest of the shoulder. You can see what I'm doing here. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to make a curve into where the armhole is going to stop. Um, like I showed you in the image, you can see it curves from the neck into the armhole. That's the next step of what we're going to need to do. Um, so, from the armhole, I'm going to come down to 5 inches and make a mark. From here, 5 inches. That's going to be the end of that curve, alright? The next thing you want to do is you're going to need to connect from here to here. Um, but we're going to need to create a guide for that. Um, you are going to come to your boss line and because of the way the shape of the curve is if you just curve it from the neckline to that point to that point at the armhole you might make it too small so as a guide place your nipple to nipple measurement in this case i'm working with a nipple to nipple of seven inches seven inches divided by two is 3.5 plus half an inch is four inches so i just marked four inches there place whatever your boss point to boss point is divided by four um by two plus <laughs> plus half an inch sorry after you've done that so, uh, to start making your curve so i'm going to cover out a bit but so that you guys don't run into problems this is an extra guide from the shoulder to your bust line you're going to take whatever you have for me i have 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 and i mark that 5 as a guide so what you want to do is you want to come in by you know uh, one and a half two inches and then use that as a guide so you're going to first connect from that neck to that two inches Connect it next to that bust line. That's the bust line, the nipple to nipple that I'm marking now. So you can see this all these points I marked out are serving as a guide. Alright. When you found these points and when you've done all of this, when you've placed everything, we are going to measure from <coughs> excuse me. So all those numbers. <coughs> excuse me all those numbers i was placing that's the two inches in the middle of that 10 and all of that is serving as a guide for um how you should you know go about cutting everything um at this point add whatever allowance you are comfortable with so for me i'm placing 1.5 inches all right i'm going to connect them together so that this does not interfere so the this part here all right this part here is going to meet your armhole all right because the main part of the corset is just a tube if you keep that armhole like that you will have issues when you are going to turn your armhole of your corset so our corset is going to sit a certain way under this so this is a rough idea of how the corset will sit so you can see that's the bust and how everything would sit under the corset so you see that armhole this is the bust line so you see that armhole we need we need the body of this half um that jacket part of the cape to be lower than your armhole line on your corset i hope you understand that you want to dodge the line you see that line that second line i just rolled you need to be able to move away from the armhole so that by the time you want to turn your armhole you don't run into any problems so because of that we are going to come down just a bit so you come to your armhole come down by one inch and roll a new armhole this is so that you can turn the armhole of your cape independent of um, the armhole of your tube i hope that that's clear because you don't want them to be on the same level though you would see this come into play but when we get to the sewing parts all right this all of this i've been trying to explain is so that is to avoid an issue when you are sewing where your tube is on the same level with the armhole of this um, cape so i'm cutting it out now you can see i'm adding half inch everywhere except that one and a half inch allowance so you can see i've added half inch even to the armhole and to the neck now all right this is the front pattern all right that's the only part we're going to need for the front 
Now, um, the fronts and the back share this, this same three lines. So the shoulder line, bust line, and the under bust line. So I'm going to simply, you know, roll a line to show where, you know, uh, this new part starts from. And then I'm simply just rolling, extending all those lines. So the shoulder line, bust line, and the under bust line. So now I'm placing the shoulder measurement at 7 inches. That's 14 divided by 2. I'm placing the same neckline width at uh, 2.5 inches. All right. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a little allowance in front of here because of the zip that we're adding in front. In, I'm sorry, at the back, at the center of the back, I'm adding half an inch. Uh, that's what's going to help us to install that zipper uh, by the time it's time for us to start sewing. Remember I told you that the back of the cape itself has a zipper so that your head can pass without any issue. After you have this line, your bust doesn't really matter here, your under bust the round doesn't really matter here. But most of the measurements I would place after my shoulder measurements will serve as a guide, you know, to help us cut the cape. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to slope the shoulder by one inch, just like what we did before. All right, so the shoulder slow by one inch, we're done with that. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to come to the neck. All right, we have to lift the neck of the back. Remember, um, in the front, we lifted one side of the neck and then cut, cut a bit out of it. This part here, we're going to lift this up by two inches like we did the front. Now, two inches is really high. It's high enough for whatever you want to do. With that done, next thing we're going to do is i'm going to simply just draw the straight line remember this is the main line and this other second line here is the um is the half inch i kept for our zipper so two inches two inches is the height of the collar <coughs> i'm going to draw a straight line to join them together with that we've created the top part of the collar for the back and then we're going to slope you see the way we sloped the back we're going to, uh, the way we slope the front, sorry, we're going to need to slope the back the same way we slope the front so that everything uh, joins perfectly when we are sewing. So with that, we have created the neck part of the back. Everything is okay. If you want, you can, you know, just place a, a rough template to know where your armhole starts and stops. Um, this is going to help you know just how large your body is and the parameters of the main body measurements. But the back is just going to be a big cape to be loose. But this is going to just help us, you know, find our way around. The back is very important. Um, the back has the big cape. The back has the sleeve and all of that. So this is quite important. All right. So this back pattern, like I've said, will carry everything. So we've gotten the neck now. Time for the next part. Um, this is the main line. We're going to come to this other line, our main line, not the allowance line and just place our bust. This is going to you know, tell us how, how wide the body actually is and just roll the line straight down. We don't need the under bust round, like I said, so we're not going to taper it down because the whole back will just be a big cape. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the bust line and I'm going to add three inches at the bust line. Make sure to do the same thing. Add three inches to the edge of that your bust line now for this cape nobody's going to really wear it um I'm just, I'm just using this to teach you guys so the length is not really my problem that's why this paper's length not being up to 63 is not a problem for me so it's time to start cutting the cape you see this line here this is my shoulder line you are going to need to measure place your tape here and then take your measurements for your dress length from this line all the way down to 63 inches. My paper is not 63 inches, but you need the fabric that you are using to be as long as the cape, as whatever length you want your cape to be, which I'm guessing is over 59, 58 inches, depending on your height. But for me, I'm going to guess 63 inches is a good number. Uh, for me, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to stop here at two inches. It will be a waste for me since nobody's going to wear it. But for you, you are going to need all the length from here going down. All right. I hope that that is clear so that you don't go end up cutting the short skip. That being said, you see this line that I have here? This line will need to run from here 
all the way down to the your your dress length that's your cape length and let's assume that this is the edge of my paper this edge of the paper is my length the length of my of my dress all right this is my 63 inches all right we are going to measure from here all the way down to 63 inches that's here for me remember we are just imagining that this is 63 on that 63 inches you are going to place your hip measurements now this is not where your hip is this is the end of the dress this is the end of the cape at 63 inches you will place your hip inches divided by four so let's guess the hip is um, 44 i've placed 11 there all right so you measure from your shoulder to your dress length that's your cape length place your hip measurements there at the end of the dress divide your hip measurement by four and place it there and you are going to add an extra allowance of 10 inches to the side you can add more if you want a very very big cape so you see that's the hem we are, we are assuming that this is 63 inches i'm not cutting 6 inches because i don't need 63 inches so you're going to measure from your shoulder to the end of 63 inches place your hip measurement divided by 4 plus 10 inches for your fullness at the bottom i hope that that is clear all right and then it's time for us to do our first connection so for me, since mine is going to stop here, it doesn't really matter because I don't need the length. So that means this recent green line I just ma uh, marked, you don't need to mark it. All right. So from your shoulder, we're going to bank to that three inches we marked at the bust. You remember that three inches? Shoulder to that three inches we marked after the bust line. And then we're going to connect that three inches to that ten inches. That's the ten inches after your hip measurements. All right. Your hip measurement was... 11 we added 10 inches extra we are going to mark from these three inches and you're going to carefully rule down from these three inches at your bust to the hem at 63 inches it's a lot i know but i hope that you understand all right so that's the first allowance you are going to need to add for the cape at the back the second allowance you're going to need to add is the extra for your sleeve remember i told you that the this cape is carrying your cape and is carrying the sleeve for the back so it's one pattern that has two responsibilities all right so you're going to come to that armhole length you're going to come out by another three inches you see that armhole space and then we're going to draw another line from your shoulder line to that point at the armhole and then we'll connect it all the way down to the hem four inches at the hem the hem at 63 all right i hope it's clear it's a lot, but I bet looking at the dress, you knew it was not going to be easy. Um, you see, they are making a bit of an arc. I didn't make it sharp. I made a bit of an arc. That's where, that's the part that will be joined to your front sleeve. So you're going to take it to these three inches, and then you gradually open it to that four inches at the hem of your dress. If you want, you can increase that four inches sleeve allowance at your hem to as much as, you know, eight, nine, ten inches, depending on how much fabric you have. It's a lot, all right? So, this is going to be very, very big and very, very full as opposed to whatever I'm cutting. Mine, I'm just cutting this to, so I'm not making this for anybody. So, there's no need to spend as much money as this would need. Remember, when we were cutting the back, the fronts, uh, we added half inch to um, our, our pattern. I'm doing the same thing. We are going to need to add this from this shoulder, half an inch to that sleeve you see that extra three inches sleeve they are going to add an extra half inch from here all the way down to 63 inches i'm not cutting 63 inches on the paper but please make sure that you cut it on your fabric all right all right for you that cut to keep going all the way down until you hit the hem you know, you cannot hear what I'm saying there, but I'm really, really emphasizing that you don't go and cut a, a, a short scape. All right? Please don't confuse. Don't. I hope if you know that you are confused, I think you should reverse and listen to it again carefully. I'm trying to break this down as much as possible. That pattern there represents the back, both sides of the back. You're going to need to cut your back on the fold this pattern here represents the front that's the the jacket parts the small parts that we sit in front you see the whole thing is trying to turn into turn into what we are trying to do 
the last part we're going to need to cut is the last part that's the the sleeve part now you're going to take out your front pattern and you're going to measure from the top that's the shoulder line to the middle for i think a safe number for most everybody is just five inches so from here to here that's the middle for my sleeve so you see that five inches you're going to measure your sleeve half of your sleeve take that measurement for me it's five inches hold that measurement we're going to use it now we're cutting the sleeve part that's going to sit in the front that half sleeve like that that part of the cape that's attached to the armhole of the front that's what we want to cut now all right now make sure you cut a perfectly squared fabric you know you are balling look at look look at what you are trying to sew so make sure to have a perfectly squared paper all right what we're going to do now is we're going to come from the edge and i'm going to mark one inch at the edge keep away half inch allowance uh, one inch allowance in front of your pattern this is going to be used for attaching the sleeve to the armhole the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark out that five inches remember that five inches we measured so your armhole that you measured and you got half place that half here all right and i'm going to make a little curve using that five inch so for you it might not be five half of your armhole all right so we have that then we are going to come to the top and i'm going to place now because of what we are dealing with because of the size that you will be working with i'm going to give you some numbers to work with the first number you are going to work with from the top you're going to come to 10 inches all right and at that 10 inches you are going to place six inches all right you see this and then you are going to make a curve from the top from that one inch line that we have to the six inches all right the next thing you are going to do is for me i don't need to cut a very long cape because i'm making mine shorter because i'm not boarding like you um you see this line here i'm going to measure from here take it down to 63 inches that's the full length of the cape length of whatever the cape is all right so you can always cut it on paper and then extend but you're going to measure from this line you see this this one inch line that line needs to be 63 inches long for me i don't need it to be that long by the time you've drawn your line to be 63 inches long at the end of the 63 so at the end of this pattern here you are going to need to place 12 inches at the end all right we're assuming that this point here is 63 it's not 63 but we're assuming that on yours this is the end you've come from the armhole down to 63 inches at 63 inches you are going to place 12 inch do you understand so you connect from the top to 6 inches from the top gradually take it down all the way to 12 inches if you are boiling even more than i even expect you can even increase that 12 inches at the at the 63 inches you can increase that allowance to even as much as 15 inches if you don't have a budget um yeah so next thing we're going to do is for me i don't need it to be that long i'm going to simply just taper this out gently as i run towards the bottom but for you this line that last small line is just ruled you will measure it from this 10 inches all the way slowly slow and steady all right slow and steady all the way to 63 inches then we can cut this out you see this i've cut it out at the five inches and then from the 63 inches you start cutting it coming back up all the way to the top of your shoulder adding half an inch on the side all right now you have the sleeve pattern a lot of work but now you want so on. <laughs> all right so um you can see we have all the patterns that we will need at this point uh we have you know the front we have the back and we have that half sleeve that will be attached to the front and that will look like it's part of the cape all right it's very interesting to so i just hope that you have charged the person very well this video is already, it's already very very long my choice is dry um i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching um the sewing part of the video i made this video complete with the sewing part i'm going to post that to you guys on saturday just 
use this one first and just you know just this one can use by whole side i'll see you in the next video do have a lovely day bye bye